Hi everyone, I'm Sam Tilworth from Gentrup University Hospital and I'll proudly present you a supervised test phase in sacral neuromodulation with medium term results after a one year follow up. I have no disclosures. Sacral neuromodulation is an effective modality for patients with forwarding dysfunctions, refractory or intolerant to conservative treatments, including overactive bladder, dry and wet, and non obstructive urinary retention. It is a stage procedure involving a test phase during which the clinical benefits are evaluated and, if successful, an internal pearl generator is implanted. After years and years of research, the test phase is still considered the best predicting factor for long-term effect. But ask yourself, how long should this test phase be and how do you provide adequate follow-up? One would agree that this is not straightforward and very center-dependent. According to the recent International Continent Society Best Practice Statement, Test duration should be between 7 and 21 days. This recommendation is hardly supported by evidence. Furthermore, no data is available how to guide and follow up patients during the test phase. So the aim of the study is very clear, optimizing this important test phase. We wanted to determine if a supervised three weeks test phase with close follow up would lead to an increase in cumulative success rate. All patients eligible for sacral neuromodulation were included. No real exclusion criteria were used, reflect, reflecting real-life clinical practice. Initially, all possible electrode settings were tested. The location of sensation was marked visually on the pelvic chart grid, as shown on the right, and the sensory threshold was noted. Optimal stimulation was defined as perianal, anal or genital location of sensation, with a sensory threshold below 2 volts and standard parameters. All patients were tested with an external pulse generator for 3 weeks with weekly follow-ups to change electrode configurations and lack of efficacy. Success was defined as at least 50% improvement in a key voiding diary variable collecting over three days. Reprogramming could be repeated at the end of the second test week if necessary. Therefore, patients could be tested with up to three different electrode configurations during the three weeks test duration. A recent study on the onset of clinical changes after sacral neuromodulation reported on average 3.3 days to reach 50% improvement in voiding diary data, with little or no gains up to two weeks testing. Based upon this, we decided to reprogram unsuccessful patients after one week. This figure shows an overview of our test phase. 90 patients participated in the study. After the first week, 33 patients were successful and no other parameter settings were tested during test phase. Of those early responders, only one patient did not reach success criteria after three weeks, leaving 32 patients to receive a definitive implant. 57 patients failed to reach the success criteria after the first week and were therefore reprogrammed. 29 of them were successful at their second evaluation and were therefore not reprogrammed. Surprisingly, 14 failed to reach success criteria after three weeks. The 28 patients considered non-responders after the first and the second week at their second reprogram, of which 9 of them received a definitive implant. In total, 56 patients met success criteria and were therefore implanted. 24, or almost half of them, needed one or two reprogrammings during the test phase to reach success. The chance of a definitive implant for patients with no one or two reprogramming sessions needed decreased significantly as can be seen by the blue bar charts. Although this decrease, overall cumulative success rate increased significantly, as can be seen by the orange line. But what about the long-term effect? At a one-year follow-up, 82% of the patients were considered successful. The early test responders had the same success rate as those who needed reprogramming, 84 versus 78% respectively. Conclusion. The test phase of sacral neuromodulation is the most important prognostic factor for long-term success and therefore its measurement should be optimal. The present study clearly shows that test duration and reprogramming in case of lack of efficacy during the test phase increases the number of patients that benefit in the long term from sacral neuromodulation. During the supervised three weeks test phase, almost half of the initial non-responders after the first week of testing became successful candidates with proven durable success after one year follow-up. This method clearly allows more patients to benefit from sacral neuromodulation. 
A supervised three weeks test phase is therefore strongly recommended. Please feel free to give feedback about this presentation using the comments section. Thank you very much.